We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God, we believe he's the Messiah. But however, we believe that he was a servant of God. Uh, he was not God, he was not part of the Trinity. Uh, we believe in strictly only one God, the, 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 the creator of the heavens and the earth, right? So, I don't want to debate with you. I really don't want to debate with you. I, ju I, just, want, I just want us to come to establish the common agreement. Yeah. We all agree that the only one he's worth to, to be worshipped is God, right? Correct. Okay. Now, do you say that in that Trinitarian model, who do you worship? We worship God and we worship Christ as part of God. Okay. Do you believe that there's none worthy to be worshipped except God? Okay. When I say there is nothing worthy to be worshipped except God, that means that you cannot give any portion of your worship to anything else besides God, right? Right. So, do you say that you worship the Father? Yes. Do you say you worship the Son? Do you say you worship the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay. Now, do you not see there's a bit of problem with that? Because if you agree, I can see how right. it can be yeah. So what we say is that look, Allah says to the to the Muslims how we should convert to the Christians. He says in chapter three, verse sixty-four in the Quran, he says, "Qul ya ahli kitab, say, O people of the book, come to common terms, come to common agreement between us and you. And the common agreement is we worship none but Allah, and that we do not associate any partners with, right? So." I mean, yeah, go on, Mark. Sorry, I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. In the Bible, it says uh, Christ was the Logos incarnate, the okay. Word made flesh. Okay. And so, when Christ comes into the world, he doesn't come into the world separate from God. It's not like these two gods. Right, I so see. There's God and then there's Christ, and they're two separate things. Okay, the, 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 see, what, what, okay. what you mentioned, it actually goes against the Trinitarian creed because. Uh, on top of saying that the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they say they're all distinct. They're all separate. So that means the God, God the Son is not God the Father. God the Father is not the Son. They're so, so they're distinct. So what you're doing is oh, it, Ah, see, they, see what you're what you what you commit is called uh, modernism, which means you're saying that the Father can be the Son and the Son can be the Father. But actually, in the Trinitarian creed, you do accept that the Son is is a separate entity from the Father. We accept that sun is separate. Right, just so worship. exactly. Now, if you believe that there is only one God that's worthy to be worshipped, yeah. but you also mention God the Father is God, you believe that God the Son is God, and you believe God the Holy Spirit is God. Now, who is worthy to be worshipped in that Trinitarian model? Well, when we say, when we talk about Christ, we refer to saying um, Emmanuel. Yeah? God Emmanuel. with us. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emmanuel, God, God with us. Okay. Christ, in order to carry, in order for us to be saved, mm. we had to carry out the work of salvation. And in order for that salvific work to be done, mm. Christ has to be right. God has to come down to us. Right. So, that one of the reasons we did from the Muslims is we don't believe that salvation would be possible, however much you pray. Sure. Okay. So, but, no, no, right. no problem. No, 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 no thank you, thank you. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Sorry, what's your name? Uh, right hand. Right hand. Mark, nice to meet you. Just that's want to leave you one thing here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we, when you say that you worship God, yeah. do, you, do you, when you call for help, when, for example, you know, um, you're, in, you're in dire need, you're in dire help, who do you ask? Who do you ask for help? God. Which God? There is one God. There is only one God. No, but you also, you, but you also say the Father is God. You believe that the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God. So when you're in, when you need help, for, let's say for example, you know, God forbid, you got cancer, for example, or I got cancer, right? From your human nature, from your natural instinct, who would you call for help? Actually, what you just said is quite right. right. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Okay, <laughs> but, if you, but if you say, but if you say uh, there's only one God, who deserves to be worshipped among the three gods? Do you, do, you, do you worship all of them, or do you worship only one of them? They are all one. This is the point you say. Okay, when you say one God, that's different. Okay, saying one God is different to say three and one. They're not, they're not the same. No. Okay?